Hi my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to a fresh episode of F1 Manager 2022 and we are about to get our end of season and preparation for the new season underway. You can see the last race of the um, last uh, season above, feel free to go and check it out. Um, by the way, we just appreciate Red Bull, 700 points, Jesus Christ, there's me happy with our 191 and oh that is so many points. That is so many points. So, so dominant. Uh, Verstappen ended up winning it by a country mile. Leclerc, Sainz, Perez, Hamilton, Alonso in sick for his debut season. Right, we are basically doing an episode similar to what we did last year, where we're basically going to go over the end of season stuff. We're going to start prepping for the new season, getting research done, and all that good stuff. Now, don't have any development points. I renewed his contract, so yeah, remaining one year okay so we have got lance stroll contract one year buyout just under two million we've got 40 call that 45 million in the bank we've got stuff going on right so where are we at um end of season board review target position was seventh we finished fifth so we've uh, smashed that target uh, score points in 50 percent of this season's races we scored points in 20 of the 22 races. That's incredible. I didn't realise we'd done so well. Um, so, our team rating is up to noteworthy. Wow, that's a big jump. That is a massive jump in reputation and, and rating, basically. The heritage remains the same at 531. It might actually help us get like a better driver next to Alonso, potentially. Um and the board confidence is high as the season comes to an end. Uh, side pod research complete. Um, front and rear. With the new season approaching, I wanted to give you an update on why you might be seeing a lower performance from the pit crew. Between new regulations, the pit is getting a little rusty. Our more experienced members leaving the team and getting replaced. A performance drop between seasons is inevitable. I'll attach a report um training focus that's a big drop that's not just a small drop that's a big drop um jesus christ jeez that's so bad why is i just don't know how you control the, the pit crew so we'll concentrate on front and rear jacks to for now uh rule regs so cost cap that's gone down and then we've got these um engine brake cooling um so yeah, the front wing, the side pods, front wing, side pod, suspension and chassis are the ones. So yeah, underfloor and rear wing are not really anything we need to worry too much about. Um, we are prepping nicely, going along okay. Um, yeah, this is all about just getting to the point where things need sorting. So the wind tunnel has been refurbished. Up and coming driver, unused scouts at the moment. They do cost money. Weather center is in a poor condition, but it's been up two days left and that will be sorted. So we don't need to worry too much about that. We've got idle engineers. Not a lot I can do about it. I'm going to do, I'm going to basically, I'm going to do the car first and potentially the new driver if we're going to go for one. Because I am, I'm an R in over stroll. I will be honest. Right, so that research is complete. Um, Okay, now we don't have really, we don't have much choice. We, we have to do that. Um, that's been complete. So the weather center now will give us a 90% race forecast. That's good. Um, the next upgrade is only 4.8 million. Yeah, we're nearly done on that, on that screen, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Now, what I do want to take a quick look at is um, we've got obviously we've got this. So throw that on there. Seventy-six rated, not bad. I'm definitely going to use him in practice a bit more next season, I think. So, drivers, not they're, they're not scouted. Filter um, remaining. Apply and return. So. Bottas, Ricardo, Joe could all be free agents. I would have Bottas, but not for 18 and a half million, but I would have Bottas. 
I just think that like there's one point between him and Alonso. Would I have Danny Rick? Jesus. Yeah, potentially. I'd have an old team. <laughs> I would have a relatively old team. But look how much better Danny Rick is. God, I actually might. I might go for Danny Rick. He's going to be available on a free. And I think he would negotiate with us. I didn't really want to have two drivers, like older drivers, because they don't really develop as well. But how did Danny Rick get on this season? Nine points. Stroll did better than him. But we had a better car than the McLarens. Yeah, those, those are the drivers that are... Um, Reaching the Lando would potentially come. <laughs> okay, he is oh, Esteban Ocon. Esteban Ocon. Now, we all know how hot I am on Ocon. I really like him, I quite like him in real life as well, but he would come. Oh, do we propose this contract now and get it done? Come on, man. Look, 87 rated. He's only 27 years of age. And how did he get on? 62 points this season. Like, if I'm comparing him to Lance Stroll, <sighs> there's no comparison. Oh, I would offer him 5 million. Happily offer him 5 million. Uh, yeah, replacing Lance Stroll. Cost to break contract. Buy out. So, yeah, it's going to cost about 4 million. But, yeah, I think it would be worth it. I'm going to offer him a three-year deal. I'm going to offer him four and a half to start with. We'll do that and that. His race target was sixth. And I think we leave that in, potentially. As it is. And yeah, the first offer. Let's just see. Let's see where we get. Okay, salary wants a lot more salary. A lot more salary. Okay, but everything else looks pretty good. So I'm going to go up to... I'm going to go up to 5 million. He might want more than that. I'm looking at his rating. I'm looking at what Alonso earns. I reckon he might want a bit more, but let's see. Yeah, I reckon he's going to want a lot more. I reckon he's going to want a lot more. He's open to negotiation still, so let's not muck about. Let's go up to 7 million. We're going to be paying our drivers quite a lot of money, but still not as much as like uh, Alfa Romeo are paying bloody Bottas and, um, and uh, Vettel. They're paying the two of them... Um, I think some. I was thinking I was looking at it. It's like a combined nearly like forty million dollars. It's crazy, right? Seven million. Yes, yes. Okay, I might have gone a little over. I reckon I might have gone a little over, but four point three million. It's an unreal number two to Fernando Alonso for the new season. I'm doing it. I am doing it. Job done. Welcome to the team, Esteban Ocon. What a driver lineup we have for the 2024 season. Start new season. Pre season, we're about to enter. Um, when can we start developing the car? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Anyway, let's start the brand new season of F1. Uh, welcome to a new season. Uh, sponsor. Obligations, uh, 97.2 main funds, lump sum, what's that, five sponsorship uh, requirements, okay, so merchandise, uh, so f I don't think we did anything else with it, did we, because we were looking at this last time, your team must create merchandise uh, featuring your sponsor, um, so yeah, the more we produce, the more it costs, but we might get more back. 
yeah so it's more up the upfront cost was more but you know what i think i'm just going to leave it as i did last year um your team must host a sponsor event in your factory on the day of the race your factory will have to pause all car part development manufacturing projects while hosting okay i can't remember how many i did last year that was just over half i think i might have done like 14 just for a bit of extra cash yeah let's do 14 14 is my lucky number so <laughs> i always go with 14 your team must host a sponsor event in the factory your factory will have to pause all car manufacturing whilst this goes on yeah i'm just gonna leave that as 10 one or both of your drivers must make media appearances throughout the season this is a great publicity for your sponsors oh kiddo do kiddy do kiddy do da um driver experience will pause okay i'm gonna do both because they're not gonna gain as much driver experience um driver experience would gain for the week of each appearance yeah they're not they're not getting the xp like other drivers are so i'm gonna do both of my drivers for that i think that makes sense their growth is lower race weekend driver appearance one or both of your drivers must make media appearances during the race weekend it's great for probably um we'll be distracting during the um for your sponsors but we'll be distracting during the race reducing their performance bloody hell Al alonso wasn't that um that d distracted was he this year i think we'll just leave that as it is um your team must host a sponsor event in your race simulator your driver won't be able to use the simulator you're hosting these events okay let's just do one we need to literally do one event for that much money fair enough um no, let's do a two let's just do two events race hospitality your team host a sponsor event in the pit box during the race which would attract your pit crew it slightly reduce their performance no definitely not your uh, team must host a sponsor event in memorabilia room the facility will be closed while hosting so staff will not gain the usual marrel x uh, uh, xp we'll leave that as well i don't really feel like we need it okay let's confirm all that okay so our new season objective is seventh or above i am absolutely loving that they have not overdone it i was really really oh excuse me i was really worried that because we finished fifth they were going to throw some really unrealistic expectations of us and they're keeping this one basically uh that's this season we've got to do that by the balance as the end of play is 136 million dollars so technical car park research change of regs um okay so we're not going to get hit that much because as you can see we've done eight percent of the 15 percent. i think that's how that or oh, that's what it's going to be at because we've done the eight oh, percent i don't really know how that works to be honest with you but i i, I think that is the case anyway um prize money is reducing uh, no sorry the cost caps reducing but the prize money is going to look pretty handsome staying the same and then all of this is remaining the same okay so we went with uh ferrari i believe last season um because i felt like it was just it was a really good power unit to be honest with you um it did very very well for us last year um i'm looking at it now second second third so there's four seconds and a first see i always do it on averages i think i'm gonna stick with ferrari for this season it, it did well for us last year um i'm looking at that red ball and I, I do quite like the look of the unit but um yeah i think we're gonna stick with the ferrari power units for this season so that's 20 million uh spent on that so that's that part of it so here we have it a report so our performance from 2023 to our performance now um let's right we can start designing parts i'm going to take a look at the car in a bit more detail first though atr period start so look we've got less this season um because we finished higher up the grid um design team roster Right, let's take a look at the rosters. This will be interesting. Antonio Giovinazzi's gone in there as their reserve driver. 
Oscar Piastri's now Ferrari's reserve driver. Valtteri Bottas back at Mercedes. Where is Hamilton? Where is Hamilton? You've got uh, Bottas and George Russell is the team there now. Lance Stroll has taken uh, Ocon's place at um, Alpine. So that's interesting, isn't it? So we've got, uh, that's our driver lineup. We've got Sebastian Vettel and uh, Zhu Wan Yu at, uh, at uh, Alfa Romeo. We've got Lando and Ricardo together still at that McLaren team. Albon partners, Sonoda. There's no... There's no uh, Hamilton. There's no Hamilton. Has he retired? We've got um, we've got a new driver in here with Magnussen. Lewis Hamilton is available on a free. Oh my god! I wish I'd known. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd known. How does Lewis Hamilton not have a drive? How does he not? have a drive that's crazy in a minute at the car um so the car driver car car analysis that's what i wanted to look at um right so our car is actually not in a bad place i want to just compare it to other people Better than the Alfa Romeo. The Alfa Tauri looks strong. Oof, the Haas actually looks half decent. Um, the Williams, yeah, I didn't expect that to be very good. So, the Alpine. Hmm, that's interesting. The Alpine doesn't look as strong. Yes, the Mercedes looks strong. The Red Bull looks strong. Hmm, okay. Do you know what? I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. I don't think we've gone as, uh, you know, we haven't gone as backwards as I thought we might. So I'm actually, I'm actually not too sad about the car, basically. But what we do want to do, we've got 40 million to play with. I was so careful with my money. I really, really was. So the factory still got 23 days until that's done. Um, the hospitality will be done in... 40 days um but yeah we what we want to do now is develop basically we want to develop parts so what we want to do is look at our rank and we want to take a look at this and we need to develop the bits that need developing the most points of call so we're going to go to 1.4 we're going to use that deficit basically um, it's mad how reduced this is. It really is. Um, hasn't really affected the brake cooling, has it? That's going to go up a bit. Oh, this is going up, though, quite nicely. Um, but yeah, the first front wing, we're not going to go in too heavy. We're going to do quite a light project on that because... Yeah, it does improve the brake cooling, apparently, just not by much. Um, so yeah, we're going to continue and I'm going to throw four engineers at it, 39 days, 74 days until the next race. So, hmm, actually, I'm just going to do that. We are going to do it on, in hmm, no, we're not. I was going to do it to get the XP, but actually at the beginning, I'm going to save money. So let's get that done. And then I'm going to do the suspension as well. And I'm going to go in a bit heavier on the research and stuff for the suspension. Um, yeah, it's going to improve us quite a bit. Develop that and... Oh, that will be done in like literally days. If I throw... I don't know if I can do another development. I think I can only do two at a time. You know what, I'm going to leave, I was going to leave, I'll leave two engineers behind just in case I can do another one. Oh, I can. Ah, that's annoying. That is annoying. I'm going to do the rear wing because I think the rear wing's one that, you know, goes by pretty fast. Um... 
I don't want to go overboard, just want some improvements, basically. I want to save some stuff inside this first window. Uh, 46 days with just the two engineers. But if we go rushed, it will get it done quicker. The cost of the approach goes up. And it means that the higher cost for fast completion, but the lower expertise gained. For my engineers. But I feel like just doing it because I want to get as many things developed before the first race. Right, so our first design is complete, and it was the suspension. Um, so... Yeah, we've still got these two to go, but our, our first one's done. That was a suspension. So, um, done the suspension. Rear wing and front wing are being done. But I just want to get some new parts on the car to begin the season. And, you know, like the car is looking pretty good. The brake cooling, obviously, that's really low. But everything else is getting there. It is improving. This won't be the last things we develop this season. So... We had a weird one. We got a bit of a weird number there. Oh, 54 days. Oh my God, it'll be done just in time. I'm going to rush it so it's done a little bit before. I still cannot get my head around Lewis Hamilton. I, I, I genuinely can't believe Lewis Hamilton hasn't got a drive this year. It's insane, isn't it? It really is insane. Or has he, has he got a drive? No, he hasn't. No, oh, yeah, he has. Where has he gone? Because he says F1. Where's he gone? Oh, my God. Lewis Hamilton is at Haas. Oh, my God. What did they do then? What did Haas do? Because they had drivers. Who have they replaced? So they, they've obviously got rid of that young driver... <laughs> Literally just like that. We've actually got a drier development point here for Alonso. Uh, I'm going to throw it on there because then 84. I think it makes sense. Adaptability as well. This is an area that he needs to improve. Can't believe we got Ocon. Still can't believe we got him. Hamilton is in that horse. That's mad. Now we're really going to see how much it matters to have a good driver because... Um, because we know the difference that Alonso made last year. Um, he's on 29 million. Okay, I wouldn't have gone for him. That is obscene money. Oh my God. <laughs> Got in there for a year. Um, he's so good. He's so good. Could you imagine it? Could you have imagined him in our car? He's so good. In the horse. Right, the rear, rear can't speak. Rear wing is developed as well. So, do you know what we do need to do? Um, we actually need to manufacture these parts, don't we? Yep, still got those two going. But yeah, we need to do, probably need to do some manufacturing. So, um, not that, not that. That one. Right, so uh, it says six of them, doesn't it? Three days, six days, nine days, 40 odd days. Right, okay, that's fine. We can do them on normal speed. So let's uh, manufacture those. I get lost at what I'm doing. Front wing and underfloor, rear wing suspension. So yeah, it's, it's the chassis or the side pods. All right. I think I'm going to do the side pods. I think the chassis, I would like more... I would just like more to throw at it, to be honest with you. And I think we're going to get a bigger increase on the side pods. 43 days. Um, we've only got two engineers. 37 days. And let me rush it. Yeah. I just want to have this car in a nice competitive place for race one. That's essentially where I'm at, gang. Right, the front wing is developed uh wow Vesti's got a couple of development points um
I'm going to put him on there. Yeah, he is actually coming on quite nice. He's coming on quite nicely. Uh, so we want to car parts manufacture the front wing. So six of those. So this is where your money goes early doors. Is uh, kind of like manufacturing all the stuff and getting your car ready for um, race one. So in Barcelona testing, we're really looking good in low speed, but everywhere else we do need some vast improvements by the looks of things. So, but yeah, we are developing parts. So, you know, we, we're working towards it. Right, the underfloor and the side pods both done on the same day. So, I, I think that's the last of it. Um, yes, it is. So, it's all about just manufacturing those parts now. So, for 22 days, the race is in 18. Um... So we'll do those three like that and then oh I can't do it at the minute so yeah I'll have to go back and do that and then was it the side pods yeah one two three four and again a couple will be done and then we'll have to do a couple of emergency ones and right so we've got literally part two of everything but the chassis on the car so um yeah, uh, change to the alpha. We're fast. We're going to be better than that alpha by the looks of things. We're going to be competing with the alpha Tauri. We're there or thereabouts with a horse. Actually, we're a lot better than it in most areas. We're better than the Williams. So one, two, three. That's that's four teams. Whoa, Jesus! The Alpine seems to have gone backwards. And the McLaren. Okay, we, I think we're like we're in quite a good position here, gang. I really do feel like we're in quite a good position. Um, so, new project design chassis. I'm going to go quite heavy on this, I think, because... Uh, yeah, 1.4, just to make up that deficit... And then we're going to just do 12. Where's this going to... Oh, is it going to improve us at all? Yeah, but not as much as I would have liked. So... Still not a massive improvement, is it, really? We're not going to have this piece for um, 49 days until the next period. That how about we do 15? Yeah, it's going to get it a bit better, isn't it? In areas. Engine cooling. Not really adding much on the speed, though, is it? This is the thing. The actual development is so, like, it's so hard. Right, so. Brake cooling is the big one. And I feel like the only thing that really deals with brake cooling is the suspension or the front wing. What's going to be more beneficial? I think maybe the suspension. Look at the brake cooling up to 11th. Because I, I want to leave some stuff behind. I want to leave some hours behind. Low speed first. Yeah, brake cooling would get better. Airflow would be better. Okay, let's. let's, let's oh, yeah, that's going to go down. Do you know what? Let's just leave it a balanced. And. Do I leave a couple of engineers behind to do another project? Maybe. I'm throwing quite a lot of money at this. Early on. 
But I want to be competitive in the early season. Let's do that. And uh, yeah, so basically we're done. We are ready for our third season with Aston Martin. I feel like we've got an incredible driver lineup. Oh, actually, the season objectives did change. The season objectives, look at them. Oh dear, I didn't think they changed. Fourth or above. And a podium contender. Well... That's a bombshell to leave this episode on. This is the morning episode. Join me for the afternoon session as we get the Bahrain Grand Prix underway on Season 3. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to in Season 3. But until next time, stay safe, stay humble. See you all real, real soon.